Okay. Hello. So, I haven't done this yet, so I thought I'd take the opportunity and show off one of my recent games. So this is Voxel Draw. Here's some characters I've made with it. Eventually these guys are going to be running around the map, but yeah. So you start off, you can like use these little pad things to go around, but you can either claim a plot here or go to the center to claim spot. And then it'll load in what's I, I have it called a new file, but so it's got a file system. You can draw whatever you want within boundaries, but you've got a bunch of different parts to work with. You can view them all by clicking this little, I think it's actually an ice cube emoji, but so right now I've got basic parts, these are all just basic shapes, and then some glass shapes, and then some of these actually have certain functions, so explosives actually will blow up, <laughs> so if you place one, And you touch it, and you blow up. So that could be used if you're making little tiny obbies, and when you're doing little tiny obbies, you can click on this little toolbox for the settings, and then change to be teeny tiny. You can also change the music if it's not to your, <laughs> to your liking. Got a few in there. The little radio thing I made. And then there's a bunch of other settings in here. Uh, this is not working yet, but eventually I'll have parts that are like sand in Minecraft where it actually has parts that can fall and have gravity. And then if I change this to true, I can actually go in and these are all different tools on the bottom. So you can change whatever color you want the plot to be. Red is kind of nice. It's more pink. Yeah. So we've got a color picker, so you can actually go in and grab colors from things that you've drawn before. Uh, paint color stuff, and that's why I added like a um, little boolean in the settings because then you, it, you don't want to keep touching that, so you can turn that back to false, and then you can paint stuff without having to worry about the background changing. And then, so I've got all these different tools you got line tools, you can draw. Lines of lines. Making different colors or whatever. And then you can either go into the erase tool to delete individual ones, like going like that, or you can go into this little selection tool that I made and you click three points. So the first two are for selecting a square, and then the other one, if you have like other parts around, you can use them for the height, or the amount of area you want to select, and then it adds all of these guys into a little selection box, and pops this menu up, so you can either choose to move them, to paste them, so that would happen after you move them, so you can click that, and then it'll move the new spot you choose, and you can click OK, and it moves all of those pieces. 
Do the selection box again. And then this time I'll just uh, I'll just delete them. So if I press here, I'll go through and delete all the parts that you drew before. And then I also got parts that are like fire and lights and the fire actually goes to the color that you have chosen. So you can make a green fire or blue fire. And then we got uh, yeah, I made lights and so those actually have as you can see as I move around, they have a little light on. Cover those lights with glass or whatever. But it's not just lines, you can have circles and like so you can choose circles with two points. And while you're choosing the radius, you can also click on these buttons and that'll flip the, the rotation. Oh, yeah, whoops. These ones are for the actual blocks themselves. So if you have like stairs or something, it'll rotate the, the stairs. But that'll choose the plane that you're drawing on. It's not just plain colors, what you can do is um, switch this back to XZ. And then, since the first color, like the first point I chose was blue, I can make the second color, like change this to the color again. I can go maybe yellow or something. And then switch back to the circle tool and still having me choose the second point. So I can do that, and I'll do a little gradient on the circle. And that works with the lines tool, too. So the first point I had was yellow. I could change it to green or something. So it goes from yellow to green, a little gradient. But it's not just drawing one image thing. It's it works with uh, where to put where is walk? There you are. I should make a search bar eventually. So when you load Yeah. So this guy actually has Frames. So if you click the animation tab over here, you can press play or um, make more frames. So the top one is actually the frames that you draw individually. And then the frame order is how you're going to choose the animation or each frame. So you can set this one to be one or you can set multiple of these to be one, but then it stops this guy from running. <laughs> because it's only going to play two frames. Or it's going to play all of the frames here, but in order of 1, 1, 1, 4. And then it'll loop back. So to change them, you just select the, um, the number that you want to set the frame, and then you select the next one. So now they're all set back to normal. If you have it paused, and you click on one of these without one, having the available frame selected, then it'll switch to that frame so you can draw on that one. So, when that's playing, I can also change the speed. I gotta switch the floating point areas. And you can run pretty fast. Yeah. And while 
it's drawing. I mean, while it's uh, playing the animation, you can also select one point, the nine, and draw, and then it'll play. Like it'll draw while it's playing. Works with the circle tool too. Sometimes uh, the circle isn't going to be that smooth. If you want to have the line kind of longer when it's drawing, you got to change the speed up. So now it'll have more time to draw more pixels in the animation. And then I can speed it back up. Uh, it's kind of inverted the speed. Like this is the time between each frame. Yep. I'll eventually have onion frames so you can see the frame before it. So it makes it drawing easier. And then I'll have a, like a, a duplication frame. Although you can do that with just having multiple the frame orders, but if you're going to make a new frame using the one before it, it'd be easier if you already had a built-in uh, duplication. But sometimes you can just uh, copy the frame from before. So if I it, in my bug out, I haven't really tested this much, but um, so if I switch to frame three, I can still see frame four there that was highlighted, and then move that. So this is a frame before that one. Like this is, wait, no, this might have been frame four. So then if I just paste it. Yeah, that works. So now I pasted frame 4 that I had selected into frame 3. I smell that works. <laughs> okay. So, if you're on mobile, sometimes these other tools aren't going to show up. So you'll have to click on the three dots in the top right on mobile. But I also added whitelisting. So if you have multiple people in the game, you can select who you want to be able to draw with you. And then I made a vote kick system. So when a player shows up here, you can click on their name and then the reason why they, why you're gonna vote kick them and submit it. But. So, Here's a few things I made. So let's cut. I got it. I'll make a setting to turn that off too. So the name tag or have it scaled down with the player. Got little lights, edges, and these are using ghost parts so you can walk through them. Stairs work when you're tiny. I'll make some better seat parts, but this is what I have for now. <laughs> it's a lot more fun when you have more people to draw with, but I'm not that great at advertising yet, so help a few guys invite friends so yeah I might have to fix that ah, I think I had shift lock on or something Switch to menu, wait. Yeah, okay. I can scroll up. There we go. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, so that's sort of the basics. If you're on mobile, you can also click on the little camera lock icon, and that'll keep your view in the same place and you can move around. It makes it a lot easier to paint, because if you're trying to touch the screen on mobile and move the view around, it would also try to, be, try to place blocks or color when you're not trying to. So this helps a lot. And then, yeah, there's different heads. So if you join early, you can get this guy. It's just a little gator head. Switch it back. And some of these things are actually interactable, so you can grab coconuts, <laughs> toss them at things. Eventually, you'll be able to throw them at the crabs that are walking around to get coins or whatever. These things work. sort of work. <laughs> I gotta make them faster. Although they do kind of go fast when you're going backwards. Sometimes. Especially when you get them on land. But. Walk speed. myself a little admin system. I can mod people. So shows commands like fireworks. Let's see. 24 is that the default? Maybe. Surprise! These are actually little items from other games I've made. Wave Chamber, Dream Space. Yep. Oh, somebody joined. Hello. Let's see what they're doing. Oh, they've drawn something before too. Cool. Yeah, sometimes if I see you in the game, I might. Let's see. They have a different one. He's a mod now. <laughs> yep. There's a little tutorial board over there if you want to see how to, like, some of the basics of animation. I gotta make it better because it's not that great just reading off the board. Hope you enjoyed. There's some other stuff in here, like volleyball or whatever. Thanks for watching. I'll leave a link in the description for the the game if you want to try it out. Thanks. <laughs>